In this short video, we will discuss a famous mathematical inequality called the Bernoulli's inequality after Jacob Bernoulli. We will discuss it and prove it using mathematical induction. Here we have the statement 1 plus x to the power of r is greater than or equal to 1 plus rx. For every integer r, which is greater than or equal to 0, and every real number x greater than or equal to minus 2. How mathematical induction works is first we will test that the inequality is valid for a few values of r. And let's start with the smallest one possible when r is equal to 0. So what happens here? If r is equal to 0, we get 1 plus x to the power of 0 is greater than or equal to 1 plus r is 0, so 1 plus 0. We get 1 is greater than or equal to 1, which is very much true. So we can test the inequality to see what happens when r is equal to 1. We would get 1 plus x to the power of 1 is greater than or equal to 1 plus 1 times x which is x so we get 1 plus x is greater than or equal to 1 plus x there is no number that is not greater than or equal to itself so every number is greater than or equal to itself so we can again say that the statement is very much true let's test the statement one more time to see what happens if r was equal to 2 if r is equal to 2, we would get 1 plus x to the power of 2 is greater than or equal to 1 plus 2x. 1 plus x to the power of 2, we will use a plus b to the power of 2 formula, which is the first one squared, so it's 1, plus the second one squared, x squared, plus 2 times the first times the second. 2 times 1 times x which is 2x this we need to show that is greater than or equal to 2x what we can see is both on the left and on the right we have like terms so the inequality is equivalent to x squared is greater than or equal to 0 now this happens for any real value of x so where we are at now is that we've tested the inequality for three values of r and we've got that it's valid for every one of these values. So now we will take a leap of faith. We will say that we think the inequality is true for any integer kappa. So when r is equal to kappa, we think that this inequality is true. Let's make some room then much better. So, what we're saying now is we believe that if r is equal to k, where k is any integer greater than or equal to 0, then we think that the inequality stands, that 1 plus x to the power of k will be greater than or equal to 1 plus kx. What we need then to do for the mathematical induction to work is to prove this for r equals k plus 1. So for the next value. We will write the inequality replacing k with k plus 1. And we get 1 plus x to the power of k plus 1 is greater than or equal to 1 plus k plus 1 times x. We know the red statement is true and we need to prove the blue statement. For this we will rewrite a little 1 plus x to the power of k plus 1 we know that it is 1 plus x to the power of k times 1 plus x is greater than or equal to 1 plus we expand the brackets kx plus x. But looking at our red statement, we know that 1 plus x, which we have here, 
to the power of k is greater than or equal to 1 plus kx. So we know that on the left we have something that is greater than or equal to 1 plus kx. So then the product will be greater than or equal to 1 plus kx times 1 plus x. Let's expand the brackets and see what this would look like. 1 times 1 which is 1 plus 1 times x which is x plus kx times 1 which is kx plus kx times x which is kx squared. Okay, so on the left we have something that we know is greater than or equal to 1 plus x plus kx plus kx squared. The question now is, is 1 plus x plus kx plus kx squared greater than or equal to our quantity on the right? Let's see by comparing the two. So on the right we had 1 plus kx plus x kx and x and kx on the right we can reduce they are like terms x and x the same and 1 and 1 we get kx squared is greater than or equal to 0 now we know that k is an integer greater than or equal to 0 and x squared will always be greater than or equal to 0 so then once again our statement turns out to be true. If our statement where we replaced k with k plus 1 is true, that means that our initial statement where we replaced k r with any random number k was also true. This is the principle of mathematical induction which shows us that 1 plus x to the power of r is greater than or equal to 1 plus rx for any of the chosen values. And that's then Bernoulli's inequality.